morning. It's Friday the 29th of November 2019. Payday. Be able to put my heating on. <laughs> Porridge this morning and rhubarb. It's a uh, steel cut oats pinhead porridge. And tinned rhubarb, but I've drained it. It's in syrup. So that's drained. So that's 34 calories for 100 grams. So there's 130 grams, which is 44 calories, I think. 42. 44. And the porridge, I can't remember how many calories. I'll put that in. <coughs> I think the whole thing is something like 360 calories. I'll put that in as well. I'll put yesterday's food diary in as well, while I'm here. That was, I think it was over 2,000. Anyway, bon appetit. <laughs> Man, that's so tasty. <laughs> Too salty though. I'd put a scoop of kosher salt in. And I thought, might that might not be enough. <laughs> so I put another scoop in. So the first one scoop was enough. So it's twice as salty. <laughs> what an EJ. That's the method. You've probably heard it before. Copy pinhead oats. Irish oats. Steel cut oats. Three and a half cups of milk. Semi skim milk. One scoop of salt. Not two. Bring it to the boil. Stirring. Once it's boiled, turn off the heat and leave it overnight. I done this last night, and then it's it's so delicious. It's creamy. The texture's gorgeous. So creamy. It's not that if you have to have it with something, some kind of fruit or whatever or flavouring. And that the rhubarb that's so tasty as well. Goes with it perfectly. Prunes, the juicy prunes are nice as well. Oh man. Anyway, I went for a walk yesterday along the cliff top trail. It was blowing a gale. It was like I think I might use that as my background today. I took a couple of videos. I don't know if because I don't know, it was just handheld, so it might be moving about a, a lot. So I'll see it, I'll try that and see if it works. But it was wild, it was, uh, I was toasty. It was a cold wind, but it was all wrapped up. I think it was a bit too warm, actually. And I walked as far as Belhaven Bay, turned up and walked back along Belhaven Road. Because I was hungry, I was starving. <laughs> so I wanted to get home. I was, I was intending to walk as far as uh, the Beale Water. Turn back. So it was 7,000 steps, 7,200. So it's, it's just over three miles, that. I was talking to one of the golfers, because you pass along the edgy Winterfield golf course. And he was saying, he says, I don't know who's mere daft, me, me golfing or you walking. And I pointed to the guys windsurfing in Bellhaven Bay, because you're right next to that. I said, maybe they're even madder than us. Uh, they looked as if the guy, there was one guy to start with, a windsurfer. He looked like he was having a good time, though. It was, it was horrendous. It was the, the wind and the waves. And then there was another two guys joined them. 
And they were on the first, just on the Beale Water, before crossing the sand to the sea. And it looked like there were jets, no jet skiing, water skiing. That's how fast they were going. A big wake behind the board with the windsurfing thing. You get some speed, especially in a wind like that. I don't think I'd be able to do that. I'm <laughs> too old for one. But it looked a lot of fun. So today, no rain forecast. I've been out already just to go along to the co-op to put, to put money on my meter. It's down to 50 pence. So, I don't know whether to go up Dunhill or go to Haddington, up to Skidhill. Uh, I'm thinking I might go to Dunhill via Broxburn. Not unless I get the half nine bus up to Spot and go that way. I shall decide. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Ta-ta for now.